In this video, I will be taking you through the basics of brooding of day old chicks. First and foremost, what is brooding? Brooding is the provision of artificial heat to help the chicks in temperature regulation. The heat can be provided by gas, charcoal, also known as wood, or electricity. The brooder area should be ready to receive chicks at least uh, 24 hours before arrival of chicks. Uh, below is a, a checklist of things that needs to be uh, done before the chicks arrive. 1. Provide the chicks with biosecurity, clean housing, disinfect the brooder area, clean and disinfect all the drinkers, feeders and all equipment that will be involved in the brooding process. To arrange equipment to enable the chicks to access food and water easily, cover the litter to prevent the chicks from eating the wood shavings by use of brooder papers or newspapers. Chicks should not have uh, to move more than uh, three feet to find water or feed in the first 24 hours. In other words, position feeders and drinkers near each other. Preheat the house and uh, stabilize temperature and humidity before the chicks are alive. Achieve a floor temperature of uh, between 28 degrees Celsius and uh, 30 degrees Celsius. On arrival at the farm, offload and uh, place chicks quickly ensure uh, feeds and water is available allow chicks to settle uh, for like one and one to two hours then uh, check the behavior of the chicks during brooding emphasis should be done on the following one temperature during brooding it is important uh, to maintain the proper temperature in the brooder from week 1 to week 2, the temperature should be between 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Week 3 to week 4, it should be between 24 to 27 degrees Celsius until when they can provide heat to themselves. The temperature should be monitored by installing a brooder thermometers in the house of the chicks. Also, uh, use chick behavior to determine if the temperature is correct. Excessive chick noise uh, during brooding is an indication that uh, the chicks are uncomfortable. Symptoms of improper brooder temperatures include uh, when the temperatures are low, uh, chicks huddle together, especially under the heat source. Uh, there will be watery intestinal and fecal contents leading to watery or uh, wet droppings and uh, wet pested vents. When temperatures are too high, chicks lie prostate uh, with their head, neck and legs stretched out on the floor. Chicks also pant and uh, there is increased water consumption uh, by the chicks leading to distension of the crop and intestines. Chicks move away from the heat source and seek cooler parts of the brooder. It is essential to maintain the proper temperatures during brooding as chicks which are chilled in the first day of life will be stressed, have increased mortality, get dehydrated, uh, there is slow growth and higher incidence of ascites, also known as a waterberry disease. While overheated chicks will be dehydrated, resulting in high mortality, ranting, a stroke, a stunting syndrome, and a poor flock uniformity. In severe cases, there will be higher cases of mortality are due to cardiovascular failure. Number two, spacing. The brooding area should occupy a third of the house during the first week of life. 
expand the brooder area after every two days and uh, the birds should occupy two thirds of the house by the time they are 14 days old. The birds should be allowed to occupy the whole house uh, by week three. Proper spacing in the brooder ensures easy accessibility to feed and water, hence good uniformity. Congestion in the brooder leads to higher mortality due to starving, uh, poor uniformity and uh, stunted birds. Number three, ventilation. During brooding, it is essential uh, to maintain proper ventilation regardless of the cost of maintaining the brooder temperatures. Ventilation is important in removing the ammonia from the house and ensuring that the litter is fresh, dry and thereby reducing disease challenges. Chicks also require fresh air to grow and uh, be productive. Ventilation from the top. In higher temperatures, open curtains from top and uh, not from the bottom. This is to avoid drafts. Chicks are susceptible to wind and uh, chill effects. Number four, feeding. When chicks start to feed, they tend to eat a, a good meal. If chicks are feeding and drinking properly, uh, the crop fills with water and feed. Gentle handling within the first 24 hours can indicate uh, the chicks progress. Check a sample of birds uh, two hours after arrival to ensure all chicks have found feed and water. Gently sample the crop of uh, 30 to 40 chicks uh, from 3 to 4 different parts in the brooder. The crop should be filled by at least 75% after 2 hours. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell such that every time you upload a video, you get to know. Bye-bye.